Hey everybody, my name is Laszlo Leber. Welcome to the coaching channel. Today I will show you how can you use Cypress to write tests for React application. Let's start coding. Here you can see the official website of Cypress that uh, we will use later to test our React application. First, download the starter project under my video and uh, unzip it to any folder on your computer. After that, open the project in VS Code and uh, type npm install in your command line tool. After you install your frontend's dependencies, please uh, go to the backend test folder and run npm install there too. The next step is to go back to the root folder and type in npm install cypress, which will install the cypress for your project. In my previous video you can see that how this project was built up. The video's title is how can you use Axios, React Async and Context API in a React application. As you can see here, there is a car list which will render a list of cars. And we have a little web server application in the backend test folder named server.js. Our backend is a Node.js application which is listening on port 9000 and our frontend is running on port 3000. Let's test our backend and frontend application that everything is okay. So type in npm start for the frontend and go to the backend test folder and type node server.js there. As you can see my application is running. I can see my cars list here which is fetched from the backend from the port 9000. Now go back to VS Code and uh, the next step is to create a new folder named e2e and create a new file there named cypress.json. This file will contains our settings of uh, Cypress. The first setting is the base URL, which is localhost 3000. Uh, we will set our backend's URL, which is localhost 9000. We will set the viewport's width and viewport's height. And uh, we will set the video to false. In the package.json we set up a new command which will run our Cypress with some basic settings, for example base URL and uh, we set up its uh, folder, project folder. After that we can test our new command, so type in the npm run Cypress into your command line tool and the Cypress will start. As you can see my Cypress uh, started. We got some uh, uh, tests by default but we will delete these tests now. So go to the E2E folder and search for the integration folder and under this you should delete the examples folder. Now create our car list test which name is 01 car list spets js and here we will write our tests logic. First we said that it's our main screen's uh, test. We get our backend URL from the Cypress config. Before the test, we should visit the root URL, which is the base URL, localhost 3000. After that, we create our test case. Uh, the test 
we'll check that uh, the car list is exist and uh, it has at least one element so here uh, we set up a root backend url slash api slash cars and uh, we save it as an alias get cars after that we wait for the get cars uh, xr request and after it's finished we can uh, get our car list and uh, in the car list we search for the cars and uh, we check that the length of the car list is greater than one after that we can run cypress again and we click on our brand new test here you can see that cypress is running and uh, it runs our test now we will cause a test failure so we set that uh, the car's length uh, must be greater than 8 because we have only 8 cars it will fail and here you can see our test is uh, failed so everything work as it expected before okay that's all for now today thank you very much for watching if you like my video please subscribe you will find many interesting content on my channel in the future so keep it up guys thank you very much bye